Okay guys, this is going to be a good one, okay? We're going to make a landscape drawing. And what we're going to use today, of course, you see the chalk pastels, pencil of course. Scissors are optional. We're going to try to do it without the scissors. Um, and a couple of sheets of paper on this one. We actually have two sheets of paper, okay? And let's put everything over here. And we're going to start out, of course, by first writing your name on your paper, please. And your teacher's name. I don't have a teacher, so write your teacher's name because, of course, I am the teacher. So there you go. All right. Now, with the paper you wrote your name on, sit it to the side. You don't want to use it just yet. This, our second sheet of paper, what you want to do is essentially draw a really big letter M. The letter M. Really, really big across the whole page. Now that actually, yeah, it's the letter M, but it kind of looks like mountains, doesn't it? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, if you wanted to, you can put three mountain peaks like that if you wanted to it's kind of up to you you can do two you can do three i wouldn't do more than three though all right now after that this comes the tough part now you can use the scissors on this part but if you're able to do this without the scissors it will look much better what you want to do is you actually want to tear along this line that you drew tear along that line now it'll look better because the tear will make for nice ragged edges now you can use the scissors to cut along that line if you like especially if it's hard to tear along that line but you just take your time if you need to put it down like this and put your finger on the line and then rip a little bit at a time, that's a good technique to do. Just put your finger down right at the point that's going to tear. Pull it up with your other hand right along that line. If it's not exactly on the line, that's okay. It doesn't have to be exactly on the line. Just close to the line. Close to the line. All right. And we're gonna try to get it all the way torn. Let's see. It's gonna kind of wrinkle on you, but that's no big deal. All right, and then we turn it the other way. Tear it, tear it, tear it, tear it, tear it. And then we turn it back this way. Tear it, tear it, tear it, tear it, tear it. And then the last little bit. Tear it, tear it, tear it, tear it, and tear it. Now, this is what you're left with, okay? Now, what you want to keep is the top part. You want the top part. The bottom part, you don't want. That is now trash. So, we're going to ball that up and throw it away. This is what you want. And this is where the chalk pastels come in. You're going to open it up. Oh, look at there. So fresh and new. This is what they look like when you use them. This is what they should look like when you put them back away. Okay? Make them look nice and neat in the tray just like they are as you see them now. Okay, good. All right. Now you're going to pick a color, whatever color you like. I think I'm going to start with the purple. Start with the purple. And I am going to lay a line of chalk along that edge, just like this. A line of chalk along the edge, just like that. And I'm going to color all in that area. Color, 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 color. This, you don't have to press down hard at all. You wanna make sure you get a nice, thick layer of chalk on this edge. Cause we're gonna take advantage 
of one of the cool properties of chalk. You see it's kind of it's kind of getting off the table on the table a little bit. That's okay. That's okay if the table gets a little messy. I have baby wipes and when you clean your hands with the baby wipes you just kind of clean the table a little bit too. You see how that the chalk kind of gets on the table a little bit. Yep, that's one of the properties of the chalk that we're going to take advantage of in this property. I mean in this particular uh, piece. Chalk kind of is powdery and it moves you can rub it rub it rub it in it with your finger and it moves and we're going to use that here right now let's put that chalk back and now we get the piece of paper with our name on it we're going to put this on top like that kind of line it up so that it's as even as you can make it and then you're going to take your finger hold this down hold it in place take your finger and rub down on the paper now what's happening you're transferring all that chalk from the paper that you ripped to the paper that you have your name on okay and that's what you want to do the more chalk you put on there the more you're going to have to transfer over to the paper with your name on it okay now you're going to keep going until you think you've rubbed every bit of that chalk off of this top sheet of paper keep going keep going until you and don't let it move on you this is another one where you can't let it move while you're rubbing all right now after you finish rubbing you take it off and it looks like you have mountains doesn't that look cool i thought that was the awesomest thing ever all right now that's the first set of mountains we're actually going to do two sets of mountains you just take the same sheet of paper and what you're going to do is flip it on the other side because the other side doesn't have any chalk on it see that now you kind of get rid of the chalk that's already on the table here get rid of all that and then oh yeah look your hands gonna get really filthy that's okay like I said I have baby wipes then you're gonna pick another color um I guess I'll do red I want to do red so I get my red chalk now of course I do the same thing I make a line and this is really a guideline this tells you or gives you a guide so that you'll know how far up the page to color you don't need the color way up here that's that's just overdoing it and you don't need the color way up there you just stay within that guideline that you colored and then everything will be just fine it works just fine as you can see all right now I'm gonna hurry up and lay this color in here right quick because we're coming up on about six or seven minutes almost eight minutes wow time sure does fly boy i tell you hurry 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 uh oh flip down hurry 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 okay now here we go now lay this one not above the mountains you've already done lay it below the mountains you've already done so you cover up the mountain so it looks like you don't have anything on there okay below the mountains you've already done and take another finger not the purple finger or the first color finger just take another finger and you're going to rub it down to let me hurry up and do this really really fast not letting it move that's very important not letting it move rub 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 uh oh Last call for buses. Last call for buses. Let's get up and go. No, psych. <laughs> That's just when I shot this video. All right. And then you look at it, and now you have two mountain ranges. I thought that was the awesomest picture ever. All right. So this is what we're doing. Go ahead, and you have you some fun. All right.